So what I'm trying to do here is measure or determine if there's any difference between the axis of the scope tube relative to the axis of the barrel in action. Um, long range shooters understand the implication of any misalignment. And by misalignment, I mean in this plane, not in this plane. So in order to get the test set up correctly, I had to make sure that the, um, the axis borne by the scope tube and the axis through the action, the plane between those two axes is perpendicular relative to the machine, which I'm doing the measurements from. So as a reference surface, I picked the top of the Picatinny rail and I think I got it dialed in pretty good. I'll zoom in here. Uh, I've got it less than a half of one thousandth, half a tenth. So we're good to go on that. So the reference surface for the test, uh, or at least for the measurement, um, is going to be the top of the Picatinny rail. And so the plane, these two, the plane formed by these two axes is now vertical or perpendicular in reference to the machine. So the next thing to do is to get the axis of the action parallel with the x-axis of the machine. And I think I've got it dialed in pretty close. Let's take a look. Now I'm going to center the um, axis of the action with the spindle, with the axis of the spindle. And so that'll be our um, y-axis reference relative to the action. So we've established that the action is parallel um, with the y-axis and that the top of the Picatinny rail is parallel with the axis of the, with the y-axis. So there's no tilt in the fixture. Um, then we're going to go out and make two measurements on the barrel. And all this is done with the DRO. So when, when we establish zero here, we got here and make two additional measurements. What I'm looking for is the offset, um, the offset of the exterior portion of the barrel um, relative to the action. Then we'll throw the scope on and we'll do two measurements on the scope, one on the bell, one on the tube. And then uh, I'll put the numbers down on paper and we'll see what, what the implications are. to have a function. Okay, so from this first center up point here, where um, I'm measuring the distance from where I took this measurement here to the two measurements I'm going to make on the barrel. So we'll be able to do well, do the trig from the offset and this distance here and distance somewhere out to here. Mine 
minus 0.7256. I have to go over with these numbers down. Plus Minus point six four six six. Plus point six four one eight. So we're back at x is equal to zero, and I'm going to make three three of the same offset measurements on the scope, similar to the same as the two that I did right near the barrel shank, and then further on down the taper, and. Um, once I get those measurements made, I'm going to have to sit down and put it on paper, draw it up, maybe in Visio or PowerPoint or something. And uh, we'll take a look at what the offset is and what the offset of the barrel from the action. And, of course, the offset in this plane of the scope in relation to the uh, action in the barrel. So let me get started. Minus point seven seven five six. Plus point seven six. Minus point seven seven six zero.
plus 0.7596. Okay, last measurement, we'll head out to the bow. Minus 1.3278. Plus 1.3148.